do you know that forgiveness is forgiving each person their path, including yourself for your own? Do you know that forgiveness transforms into acceptance before we are able to truly live our lives? Do you know that you can heal an entire chunk of your past with this realization? Poof, just like that. Thank you for joining me. My name is Vani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Taurus, I'm getting ready to dive right in. There we have it. And your first card out, Taurus. Judgment. This is the end of a long cycle. It tells me that you are hoping for some kind of rebirth. This is some kind of transformation. And Taurus, what you are hoping is that once the cycle has closed, you are going to be able to access that new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. This talks about an emotional beginning, Taurus. Now the energy ruling your mind space is an energy of very slow-moving energy. The Knight of Pentacles moves so slowly that it at times it may seem as though he actually is standing still now in terms of this emotional beginning, the one that's in your mind space. It might be moving at quite a slow pace, Taurus. With the Page of Cups, we are still talking about our emotions, Taurus. We are talking about a new beginning in terms of our emotions. We are talking about heightened psychic abilities, perhaps. Now, Taurus, with the Hierophant, we are talking about, first and foremost, you. We are talking about an emotional new beginning that may result in a long-term commitment, something that is traditional, Taurus, and this sits in your fears. With the Ten of Swords, this closing out of the cycle, or the beginning of the new cycle, has you in your mind space, Taurus. You are feeling some kind of despair, uh, something that causes you distress. Now, in your hidden position, Taurus, is that transformation the one that you are hoping for? The one that you are hoping to be able to transform with the Ace of Cups? With death, we're talking about the end of one way of being and the beginning of a new one. Now you, in your current position, Taurus, you sit as the Queen of Pentacles. Now this is a queen who is loving and caring. Her energy strives to share what she has with others. And it is at the end of the cycle that you are now considering you, Taurus. With a seven of wands. This is you busy on some kind of creation, Taurus. This is where your passion and your emotions belong. It is tied in with whatever it is you are creating. Now Taurus, as it suggests in this card, you are hoping 
to break free of something that is holding you back in some way. With justice, we could be talking about something in the legal system, something that may have been slow-moving Taurus. This might be something that touches your finances in some way. With justice, it's trying to find that balance that touches whatever it is you are creating. Now this, in your physical world, Taurus, is a king of swords. This is the feminine energy that portrays the king of swords. We are talking about an energy that is innovative. Someone who's an excellent speaker, someone who's intellectual, someone who is able to use the power of her intellect in order to be able to shape our world and how we see it. The reason she is portrayed as the feminine energy using the king's name is because she's leading, leading from life experience, something she may have gathered along the way. Now Taurus, this again talks about a new beginning in something that you love, something that's going to require the spoken word or some kind of communication. With the Four of Swords, there's a period of waiting. This is a period of healing, Taurus. This is a period of healing from a broken heart, something that you now understand, something that's tied to the Hierophant, a long-term commitment. Maybe it is something that pertains to you personally, Taurus. Now what you should know with the Ten of Pentacles, this is home. This is stability, Taurus. This is material abundance and that is what you are looking at. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. With the Ten of Pentacles, we are talking about building a legacy. Now in years gone by, it would have taken a long time to be able to build a legacy. But in these times and in this age, this can happen overnight, Taurus, with your energy that is forming the stability in order to be able to achieve that. But you are in your mind space about how you are going to do it in your hidden position, Taurus, is the lovers. Now we could be talking about a choice. We could be referring to a Gemini who might be significant. With the lovers, we are talking about your soul path. We are talking about two individuals that have been destined for each other lifetime after lifetime. Now Taurus, what you are about to see is a transformation as it pertains to your soul path, as it pertains to your lovers. It is in your hidden position and so you are not able to see it yet. Now what has brought you here Taurus? Fast forward motion. This could have been a move Taurus. This could have been you moving home with the chariot, but we talk about some kind of success, some kind of victory. This could be talking about determination on something you have been working on, Taurus. Something that is small in the material world, something that you are tending to something that is touching whatever it is you are creating. And that may be the reason why you have the Knight of Pentacles in your mind space, your slow-moving finances. From fast 
to slow. Now what's taking you forward, Taurus, is the Four of Pentacles. This could be something that you are holding on to. This might be a home that you are holding on to. Whatever it is, it is something that is closely guarded. It may be a secret. With the Ace of Pentacles, whatever it is that you are tending had some kind of gateway to go through in order to materialize on the other side, Taurus, with the Ace of Pentacles. Here it is, you growing your finances, you growing your material world in order to be able to achieve the Ten of Pentacles. Now this, again, is tied to something you are doing in the physical world, Taurus, and it very well may be something that you are talking about, something you are writing about regarding whatever you may have experienced. This is life experience being expressed, Taurus, something that creates a healing energy. Wow, all aces with the Ace of Swords. This is understanding, finally, what that beginning is in the material world. Now, Taurus, the reason for this is we may know the future, we may see it in the cards, but we only ever understand it once it has happened. And until that point, it sits in our fears now what you should know, Taurus, is that there is going to be a new beginning. Something you have worried about or you have started worrying about already. This is some kind of despair. This is worried about something that might be ending with the, end, with the death card and with judgment on the other side knowing that this new beginning is going to take you maybe out of your comfort zone, Taurus. But let me, let me tell you that once that new beginning happens, it is going to move forward very, very quickly. In your hidden position, Taurus, the reason for the transformation of the soul contract this soul path, something that changes and looks completely different is because of a different perspective. This might be looking at you looking at your new beginning with a different perspective, realizing then when it actually started. Now, let's have a look at your outcome, Taurus. With the Knight of Wands, this is you jumping through hoops in order to be able to move forward quickly. The energy of the, the night of fire is someone who's unconventional, someone who expresses enthusiasm vigorously, someone who is chomping at the bit, waiting to move forward with the chariot full of passion. And what it is that inspires you, Taurus, is the moon, something tied in with your psychic ability, something that allows you to see beyond the veil of what is, Taurus. This is being able to see beyond the illusion the energy that's balancing you in your outcome is the King of Wands. Now we could be talking about a fire sign, a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. Somebody who is holding on perhaps or you are holding on to. This is a king who beats his own path and invites others to join. Now, as it appears in the physical world, Taurus, 
this new beginning in your finances, this new beginning in the material world is going to feel as though it is too much. But when you start feeling that way, remember that you have the Knight of Wands energy. This allows you a new bottle of energy each and every day. You are able to then tap into that knowing that whatever comes your way is, is something that you are going to be able to handle with the King of Wands energy touching you. Nothing stands in the King of Wands way, Taurus. And with the Wheel of Fortune as your final card, this tells me that this understanding, this epiphany, this breakthrough moment you reach is going to change things and when you look at it, Taurus, you are going to be able to say that it has moved in your favor. This is what you wanted and this is what's going to be achieved with that transformation card. The card under the deck is the Queen of Swords. This is someone who embodies the energy of having incredible insight, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, perceptiveness, someone who's witty, has a keen mind, has a forthright personality. This could be you, Taurus, talking from life experience, or this could be an energy that may be significant within your own we could be talking about an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Until your next one, bye for now.